What's up guys and gals, my name is Splattercat, we are here with the Nerd Castle for another episode of Town of Salem. We're gonna go ahead and play another classic game today in which I hope that we get a cool class. I mean, the last episode went pretty well for us, we were playing the Jester, we managed to get ourselves hanged, and so anytime I win any game, I'm pretty happy about it. Simply based on the fact that if I can win by luck, I will take that, if I can win by skill, I will take that, but the bar graph seems to be strongly skewed in the direction of the former. And so 15 people in the lobby, counting it on down. We've got to pick ourselves a name right here, and I'm not sure who I want to be. I think they need to add a neutral class whose job it is to get killed by the Mafia. Although that would be as easy as claiming lookout the first round. I'm going to call myself... Oh, I don't know. I've got to think of something humorous. We shall be Spittoon with one T. I don't know if Spittoon has two Ts. That's not a word that you commonly spell in the modern age, so that would be one that I would have to look up. You know, it's... whatever. We'll be Spittoon, because I've noticed that about 85% of the time there's somebody from the Nerd Castle in this game, and they'll throw the game to help me win, and I don't want that to happen on camera. It makes me sad. I mean, it's nice of them to do, because I do enjoy winning, but I like to win legitimately, and if I can't do that, then I stoop to cheating. You gotta go You gotta go in the proper order. Oh, our role is the mafioso, and so we're gonna be doing the bitch work for the Godfather today. The big ass bitch. We got ourselves a bab in this game. Big ass bitch. My dear, dear lord. And so it's us, Ugg, is the godfather. And you'll forgive me if I don't put much faith in a man named Ugg to be the proper orchestrator of murder here. The <laughs> crafter of conspiracies named Ugg does not lend a whole lot of faith to his job quality that he might lend to this task. But you know what? I'll give him a chance. He's going to frame... Why is he framing Martin? Do not frame Martin. Okay. So, kill. I'm going to tell Hazel to pick someone different. Say, Hazel? I'm going to say, Hazel, don't frame the same person as the Godfather kills. That is not your job. And so, just in the order, I mean, I always check in because every time I assume people are not dumb in this game, they turn out to be far stupider than I ever thought they were. And so I just, I start people at rock bottom now, and you earn equity as you go through the game with me. And so the person that we tried to kill is the SK. And so who was it? He went after Splinter Cell. And so I could claim right now... Well, I'll wait on it, because what you want to do is you want to keep... You want to keep the serial killer alive a little bit longer than the first round. Now, I could rat him out right now, and if I do it in a proper way, I can do it without getting myself killed. And that's the goal for right now. But I'm going to wait until some of the other people have whittled down. I'm going to use the serial killer as a tool for right now. And actually, we don't know that he's the serial killer. I suppose he could be the executioner. There's the distinct possibility he might be the exit, so... Why Ugg? I'm gonna say don't rando vote. Alright, so I said don't rando lynch, it's bad. Alright, and so basically what I'm explaining to my team is just like, we know that Splinter is either the exit or the SK, and I'll try and steer people towards hanging him later, but for now, we'll hope that he kills useful people. I mean, there is the possibility that he's the exit, and I'm just wasting my time. And so tonight, the Godfather has ordered us to kill Jonathan Banks, and so off we go to murder, said Jonathan Banks, for the lack of an H in his name. That's what he gets. He forgot a letter. No, you can spell it either way, but I prefer the way with the H. And plus, I was under orders. I had no choice right here. What the Godfather says, we do willingly. And it's led to some very, very strange situations. 
So wait, is the veteran the vigilant? Okay, so are the mafioso? Oh, he killed the investigator. The serial killer killed the investigator. Not bad. Jonathan Banks has now been murdered, and he was done in by the mafia. We can take a look at. Roses are red, but I'm colorblind. I don't know. Roses are red, but I'm colorblind. There we go. That works. That'll do it for now. And so what you also want to do is if you're playing the Mafia, you want to sow Discord. And so with that note that we have back there, if you take a look at the chat log, we know that CL said that Wade was possibly a mafioso. So what we want to do is we want to throw... And so we're going to say that is Wade because that's all that we have right now. And actually, we're the mafioso, so if we get killed, that won't work. We'll say Framer is Wade. Okay, and so... They're killing Dragnell. That's a vote that I could possibly go for. He said, check the last person, and you were the last person. Okay, so that might work out in our favor, because Dragnell was the last person they listed. Eh, people, I mean, misinformed about how the game works. But it might work. Yeah, one second left. Nobody's going to get a vote done by then. And we want to look and see who's been talking a lot. Dragneel says he's investigator. CL's already dead. They're gonna, f yeah, they're gonna frame Dragneel, and so they're killing off big ass bitch. Which I don't know if we need a winch for that or like how this is gonna work. We might need to bring a hand truck or something with us. Okay, and so, it appears as though in the last evening, Dragneel and Demon were killed off. Dragneel may not have been the best choice, because Dragneel was already suspect. It would have probably been better to frame Dragneel and go after somebody else. Now, Splinter Cell is still in the game. And we also want to leave a note... You didn't have all state insurance. <laughs> well, why the fuck not? Yep. That's what happens. If you don't buy all state insurance, you get murdered by a crazed man wielding a knife. See, that's the commercial they should show you. If they really want to sell that, you got a you gotta fear monger. If there's one thing I've learned about life, it's that the fear mongers do the best at influencing one person in a certain direction. It works in this game, too. Be a fear monger. Throw it around. Just be like, ah, serial killer's coming! That's a terrible death note. We killed the Jester. Okay, well at least that's one source of entropy removed from the game. I... So I could say I'm Sheriff. Well, I don't want to be... I was going to say that I'm the Sheriff and that Splinter Cell is the SK because I'm pretty sure that he's either the Exa or the SK, but I'm going to wait because the second that I do that, it puts me in the limelight and it makes me a central actor. And what I mean by central actor is it means that you spend an entire day with somebody discussing you or considering what you're saying. And there are times to draw attention to yourself in this game and there are times to not draw attention to yourself in this game. And there are still enough votes around to where this may not be the time to... Pre to possibly expose ourselves, or at least put ourselves in harm's way. So Hazel is asking why Big is quick to vote. And I said because rando voting is for bads. <laughs> Alright, because it is. Don't random vote. Seriously, do everything you can to keep your townies from rando voting. 
because it's the most ridiculous thing. It's a bad strategy. I mean, just randomly killing people until you get the right one. And so we're going to get rid of Doctor and frame Big Ass tonight. They ask sometimes, the Godfather will ask questions, and I try to answer them, but this game, Ugg seems to know what he's doing, and so I suppose my lack of faith in the earlier game would probably get me a choking if he was Darth Vader. He would find my lack of faith disturbing. But his efficiency as killing people is actually pretty impressive. Okay, and so Framer has been killed off. I've got to wait and see. I'm not filling in the final person. I'm waiting to see if Godfather gets killed off anytime sooner. I could also say that I saw... It was Shivago. Okay, so I'm going to say that I saw Dragon get visited by Splinter Cell. On this turn, because we're getting close enough to the end. Firk you goobs. What the hell is a goob? I mean, I assume that it's not a good name. So Dr. Shivago is now dead or she... Oh, he was a jester. He was the exit. Okay. And so we're going to get Splinter Cell on this turn. Dragon was shot. Kill the person that killed me. Don't make my death in vain. And I'm going to say that Splinter Cell visited Dragon last night. Although, that won't work. Never mind. For obvious reasons, that won't work. Let me go back through my chat log and review here. Because sometimes I miss things. Yeah, that won't work. Never mind. But he was stabbed by a serial killer for some reason. He was shot, even though I said he was shot by a vigilante. Has the sheriff died yet? Do we have two of anything? Okay. I'll throw that out there. And we'll see if they take the bait. I'm kind of a vestigial organ of the Mafia right now anyways. It doesn't really matter. We want to be careful and see the way that the votes go, though. Well, as you can see, some people are going to be skeptical about the whole thing. Oh, don't do that. If everybody in the Mafia votes one way, that's going to get me in trouble. Okay, and so basically what I said is that I died a night watch because Splinter Cell was most definitely immune when we attacked him and the Executioner, assuming that the Executioner became a Jester, we've already, actually we haven't hanged anybody. Lots of people have been murdered though, but anyways, the Executioner becomes a Jester after he loses. Hazel says that I should kill Wade. And so I'm just going to go with what they say. I think there are more than likely better targets like Big Ass Bitch because Big Ass Bitch doesn't believe me. And so... Oh, don't use my name though, there could have been a spy here. Damn. Ooh, a bunch of people died. Oh, they executed Ugg. Okay, that's bad. So Ugg was jailed and then murdered, which means we might be up next. We need to get rid of the Jailer, like, right now. Hopefully the Jailer... Splinter is the SK, Spittoon is the Mafia, Hazel Grace is Framer. Wow, that was a note right there. And so who was that? Somebody did work right there. We may have actually... Oh, it was the spy. You used my name. That's what it was. So yeah, I made sure I didn't use names because the spy can be watching your conversations. And in the case that the spy is watching your com or in the case that the spy is watching your conversations, they can see what you said, which is why I'm always very, very careful to never say anybody's name. Oh, did I say Hazel's name at the beginning of the game? Balls. I may have. That might be my fault too. I think I said her name at the beginning. I'll have to go back and watch the footage. I may have slipped up and gotten at least our framer killed right there. Yeah. 
Yeah. So they're going to get rid of Splinter, and then our next goal is to kill Big. Yeah, you got to get rid of Big. Big has to go, like, right this second. I should have killed Big. I knew I should have gone with my gut and killed Big last night. And so there it is. Well, we've lasted one more turn, but I think the Mafia's lost on this one because it's 3-2, to two, which means that if they actually take the notes, well, if we kill somebody, to might, we might be fine. But the Jailer, if the Jailer's any good, if the Jailer's any good, 100% the Jailer will jail me and execute me tonight without any questions asked. And so... Oh, now he's saying he'll kill Mafia for us, yeah. And so we'll say Bab right there. There we go. And so maybe that'll come back and get Babs at least and buy the framer another couple seconds before he goes out. All right. And so there goes the kill right there. And so I'm going to get jailed tonight. I'm calling it. I'll get jailed tonight by Bab and... Oh, I can't whisper. It's too late. I'm just filling up space right now because he's going to kill me either way. But I still have a card up my sleeve. Because nobody knows that Bab is the Jailer. And Hazel apparently... Oh, that's right. Hazel can't do anything until I die. And so there it is. I did the best I could. And so we'll see if anybody... We'll see if they bite or not. I mean, it's a last-ditch attempt to save Hazel. You never know if it's going to work or not, but we can try it. So we'll see how this whole thing goes. I mean, I could have thrown a wrench into this. Hazel might be playing it a little hard right now. Hazel probably just wants to, like, direct the conversation slightly and then back up. Hazel might get herself killed. Oh, there it is. Come on, Lemonade. Don't punk out. Come on, Lemonade, don't mess this up. Come on. Oh, Lemonade's not going to bite. Ah, there it is. That's game. Okay, and so since we couldn't get Lemonade on board, they jailed Hazel, and Hazel will get executed tonight, and that will be the game. And so another stirring episode of Town of Salem. Unfortunately, I did the best that I could. We made it to, like, the final four. You should count this game as a victory if you make it to the final four as anybody. And so... The medium's contacting us right now. It's a good thing I didn't drop game. Hazel's dead. I mean, they're going to execute Hazel for sure. Because Bab knows what he's doing. Oh, Hazel's not dead, interestingly enough. Why didn't big-ass bitch jail Hazel? Did somebody roll block her, maybe? Oh, 
Oh, Lemonade was the jailer. I thought Big Ass Bitch was the jailer. Either way, you can see, like, why you always want to name somebody in your note right here. Say that you're throwing the game, and put the names in the people that have already been killed, and then put in false names for all the people that haven't been killed, and you look at the chaos right here. Now they can't decide what to do. They're sitting here arguing with each other. And they can't decide. I mean, Lemonade is the jailer, though, so Lemonade needs to go. So... There it is. I mean, it's going to come down to this vote. I think this is going to be a split vote, though. I almost guarantee Lemonade's going to go for Hazel. It depends what Lemonade does, but I bet it's going to be a 2-2 vote. Oh, play. That's why you leave the note right there. That is why you leave the note. Because if you don't leave the note, Hazel's toast. But that note right there, that's why Big Ass Bitch is being hanged right now. It's... It's epic. It's epic. <laughs> I always like how people just have to rain abuse down on everybody in the game when they lose. They're just like, Aah! Ah, he's gonna jail. We're still gonna lose, but at least we took one more person with us. We got the higher score. So either way, the townies didn't... I mean, surviving with your town only having two people left, that's not really a victory anyways. I mean, moral victories don't hurt any less. That's my old man's... <laughs> moral injuries... I'm sorry, moral victories don't heal faster. I mean... <laughs> oh, man. All right, well, we did okay. We did all right. We did all right. So the game is going to play out like this. They're going to kill Hazel Grace. So I'm going to break the episode off right here. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me in playing Town of Salem. Town of Salem is a very fun little game in which you lie to everybody. You can see right there, they're already going to execute her tonight. And so we got close. Eh, they're trying to play it right now with the medium, but... <laughs> and so Hazel should be dead now when we come back. Yeah, there it is. I was going to say, Lemonade's a giant moron if Hazel's not dead right now. And so I will see you all in the next episode. Take care out there, everybody. If you want to play the game, look down below for the link. I will see you all there. Feel free to add me. My username is just Splattercat, so feel free to add me on there. We'll play some Nerdcastle games or something. But if I deny it, just know that I'm recording episodes, and so that's that. Take care, everybody, and hi-do.